What's up guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to Road to Jack's. This is episode six now. Yeah, six, because we did five workouts. So we pretty much went through my entire training program, but I wanna keep this mini series going throughout my progress and my bulk. Basically, as training vlogs, documenting my progress, sharing my process with you guys, all that kind of stuff. So now these structured videos are pretty much to be, I'm gonna do a workout. Isaac's gonna go ahead, go crazy with a sick edit for you guys to watch. At the end of the workout, we'll still do a physique check, um, go over like my body weight, my current stats, um, change the program that my coach has me doing, and then anything else, as well as starting a Q&A session. So I want you guys to ask me questions down in the comments below. So at the end of each of these episodes, I wanna go ahead and answer a few questions for you guys. Today's question is gonna be about progressive overload because I've gotten that one a few times. So yeah, we're just gonna get in the workout. I'll see you guys at the end of it. I'm not doing too much talking and going over all the exercises like I did in the previous episodes. It's just me and edit. Isaac put up some music. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the workout.
wrap on the workout. We're gonna go in the posing room, do a little posing. Uh, I need to work on quite a bit. I had to talk to my coach, send him over some progress photos and some posing, and he basically like pulled me apart. So yeah, we got some stuff to work on, but once again, we got a long way until we actually step on stage. Those are the three we're gonna hit today. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're gonna go ahead and do kind of a Q&A session at the end of these Road to Jacked episodes. So instead of walking you guys through my workouts, we'll do an edit, we'll do posing, uh, physique update pretty much, weigh-ins, uh, how things are going, they're going well. I feel full all the time, unfortunately. I'm at around 36 to 3,800 calories depending on the day. And now the goal is instead of 182, we're gonna shoot for 180 and then maintain 180 for probably two or three months. Um, the goal is to be at 180 by the end of November, maintain 180 through December, January, and start the prep in February. Um, but yeah, other than that, once again, leave questions down in the comments below that I can go over. But like I said, I'm gonna go home and we're gonna break down progressive overload for you guys since I've gotten that question quite a bit on recent Road to Jack episodes. But yeah, otherwise, see you guys at home. We are now home from the gym, got our post workout in as well as our creatine and post by Transparent Labs. And now I just wanna go over, once again, progressive overload. So as I've mentioned before, we're gonna do like a Q&A at the end of each one of these videos after I go over the workout, kind of my update, my physique update, how I'm weighing, all that kind of stuff. Also, it is fairly windy outside, so hopefully the audio isn't too bad, but I have a shotgun mic pointed directly at me, so we should be good. Um, but yeah, so pretty much want to go over progressive overload, or essentially what I talk about as far as like the difference between training and working out. So working out, I actually made a post on this, is pretty much just going to the gym, picking a muscle group, lifting some weights, moving some stuff around, and then leaving. Where training is you go with an intention, you have a program you're following, you have execution cues, you have make sure your form is on point, all that kind of stuff, and you also track your lifts. And the reason you track your lifts is to then implement progressive overload, or essentially where you do more either volume, reps, higher intensity, you make some sort of progressions in the gym, right? Because if you go in and do the same thing over and over again, you're not gonna get a result. But the goal is to progressively add weight onto the bar, or that's what a lot of people think. And there are quite a few different forms of progressive overload. Some of the most common ones are load progression, where you add a load to the bar or increase your weight, either dumbbells, barbells, whatever it is. There's also rep progressions, where you increase the reps. So you start at six reps at the same weight, and you go to seven to eight, whatever it is, through the sets. You can also do set progression, so you do two sets, the next week you do three sets, or the next month you do three sets. Those are all versions of increasing your training volume to then elicit, obviously, break down your muscle, elicit more growth when you're at the gym. But there are also a lot of other progressions that people don't always realize, where if you have better form execution from week to week, that's a form of progressive overload. If you slow down your lifts and go with like a tempo, that is a form of progressive overload. If you squat and you do a pause squat, that is also a form of progressive overload because it's harder than not doing a pause squat. So a lot of variations, but the two big ones I wanna go over are load progressions as well as rep progressions and how you can use this in combination for double progression or what I like to have a lot of my clients do as well as myself in the gym, increasing our weight and reps over time. But the first one is gonna be just linear load progression and that is simply adding more weight to the bar. So if you're bench pressing, let's just say very simple, three sets of eight at 100 pounds. The next week you wanna go to maybe three sets of eight at 105 pounds and three sets of eight at 110 pounds. So that's a very linear progression. A lot of times that is best for like newbies, um, people that are new to the gym. And then the rep base is a little bit different where you keep the same load, but you increase the reps. So let's say you have a rep range of eight to 10. So you're bench pressing, you do 100 pounds for eight. Then the next week you do three sets of 100 pounds, but for nine. And then the next week you do three sets of 100 pounds, but for 10. So that's a rep progression. But a lot of times you hit a plateau doing one method or the other. Either you're gonna hit a plateau in increasing in weight, or you're gonna hit a plateau in reps because you just can't add reps and weight forever. And that's where you combine the two methods of load and rep progressions into a double progression. So the big thing here is you need a rep range and the rep range will dictate how many reps you are able to increase before you increase the weight. So once again, we're gonna do bench press, keep it super simple, but this can carry over into any exercise. We're bench pressing 100 pounds and our rep range is eight to 10. So once again, sets, you can do two sets, three sets, four sets, that's a little bit different depending on your training volume. But let's just say we have three sets of eight to 10 for bench press. So we're doing 100 pounds. So you're benching 100 pounds, you go in the gym, you hit three sets of eight at 100 pounds. Fantastic, you try to increase the reps the next week. Then you go three sets of nine at 100 pounds. Fantastic, once again, this is not gonna be perfect, but in this perfect world, we have linear progressions um, and no drawbacks or anything. You're sleeping enough, eating enough, all that good stuff. The following week, you go three sets of 10 at 100 pounds. Boom, you hit your top of the rep range between the eight to 10 reps. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna decrease the reps back down to eight, but increase the weight on the bar. So in that case, you're kind of increasing the weight every maybe three to four weeks, but trying to increase the reps every week. So in that case, you would go from benching 100 pounds for three sets of 10 
to now benching three sets of eight, but 110 pounds. So the weight's a little up. That's a very generic explanation of progressive overload. But the whole goal with this training progression is to increase our training volume. Make sure that our body is experiencing a stimulus that will require it to grow. That's the biggest thing. So you can do it in a variety of ways, but I like the double progression that we just went over. Increase the reps in a given rep range. When you reach the top of that rep range, go ahead, bring the reps back down, but increase the weight and just kind of repeat that process over time. I've mentioned a few videos, but at this point, I'm excited if I just get one extra rep each week. So if I'm benching, um, so for me, I was doing 110 pounds on flat bench press. I did it first three sets of eight. The next week I did one set of nine and then two sets of eight. But I still count it as a win because I increased my reps just by one, one rep in one set, I'll take that as a win. Because progressive overload does slow as you get more experience. But the goal is to still week after week, month after month, increase your training volume. And it's not gonna happen perfectly. Some days you might not sleep so well. You might have gone out the night before. You might have a little bit of a drawback, whatever that might be. And you might not hit that exact number but the goal is to stay in that rep range until you hit three quality sets not sacrificing on form at that top of the rep range and then you can increase the weight and decrease the reps and kind of repeat that process it does get a little tedious um i think for some people but for me once again if i hit one more rep at a certain weight i'm excited that day it's a good day for me good day of training because your body still has that stimulus but once again progressive overload is for the goal i've been talking for a while now but i could talk about this stuff all day if you have any more questions about progressive overload anything like that leave them down in the comments below i'll do my best to answer those but yeah without further ado i'll go ahead and end the video here thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure to ask more questions in the comments below for the next road to jacked episode and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.